Doug NPA back with another video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button on the way in. I'd really appreciate it. It shows that you support me and the content on this channel. So I saw the story when it first came out, but I, I wanted to wait until the apology video came from this girl. So in Wichita, Kansas, a female FedEx driver was struggling with some boxes, packages. The customer walks out to the driveway, starts filming her. And because the customer doesn't help this FedEx driver, she starts yelling racial slurs at the lady. Caught on camera, this girl's wearing her FedEx uniform in front of a FedEx truck. The video goes viral. She gets fired. There's an apology video. Let's just get into this story. But first, we have breaking news tonight that Wichita FedEx driver you just saw is now out of a job over that video. The driver admits to using a racial slur toward a customer. The video has at least 3 million views. Cake's Katie Tobby has the video and shares the driver's apology and the response from FedEx. Katie? Well so a lot of times people overreact with no idea that they're going to go viral. This girl had to have known. They're going to show the video, and she you can't tell me that right when she did this, she must have been like, oh, my gosh. Well, the video shows a heated exchange between the FedEx driver and a customer. But according to the driver's apology, there's more to the situation than the video shows. Because there always is, especially when a woman is the one that goes viral, there's always more to the story. All right, go back to your country. I can't understand what you're saying. Ooh. This now former FedEx driver acknowledges she made an inappropriate racist comment during a delivery stop. I'm deeply sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It was unladylike of me. It was unmature and I shouldn't have said. But she says what the video doesn't show is what led up to that point, that the driveway was full, forcing her to park on the side of the street. So, you guys, let's do the standard apology analyzation while you're listening to it. Do you think she's apologizing for real? or because this went viral and she's having to suffer because of it. What do you guys think? Comment and let me know what you think. Uh, by the time I pull everything out, I have my dolly and I look out, everybody's in the doorway. So I asked for some help. So she asked the customer for help. Do you think a guy delivery driver would have, has, would have asked a customer for help? Especially that's a woman holding the phone. Why does she think that she could ask the customer that she's delivering to for help lifting a heavy box? And also, she's she looks like 5'4", maybe like a buck 30. Of course, she'd be struggling with these boxes. But hey, equality ladies, woohoo. And everybody just looked at me. So I had put everything on the dolly and I had to pull it up a curb. When I pulled it up the curb, I had fell with the whole dolly, the whole package, everything. I'm frustrated. It's cold outside, and I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. The Welcome to manual labor. Welcome to what men have had to do for thousands of years, ladies. This is what's out there for you with this whole equality thing. You're going to be in the sewers. You're going to be on the roofs. You're going to be delivering heavy boxes. Welcome to the real world. Customer Carla De La Torre starts recording. I don't care. I'm my boss personally. Yeah, there you go. Get your boxes. Since all y'all want to stand there and look at me. Yeah. Help. How about that? Come help. You can catch my white. Just leave. Girl, leave. sorry. Go back to your country. I can't understand what you're saying. There you go. I wonder. She had to have known that this was was going to explode when she said that. And the, can you imagine being FedEx's PR company having to wake up to this online? I wonder how that conversation went. <laughs> America, this is America. No. This is America. I know this is America. The original recording has more than 3 million views and the apology now has over a million. We did get a statement from FedEx tonight saying this behavior is unacceptable and contrary to the professionalism demonstrated by service providers in safely and reliably delivering millions of packages every day. FedEx Ground expects the highest levels of conduct from service providers, and we can confirm that this individual is no longer providing service. Live in the studio, Katie Tommy, Cake News on your side. Nothing that happened to that girl warranted her response to that customer. And if that would have been a guy, he would have just dropped the packages off. He, he probably would have been struggling, struggling with that box because that box, it didn't look heavy to me, but I'm six foot two and 235 pounds. This is just a case where why you have a five foot, foot 
for a 130 pound girl lifting heavy boxes like that. And yes, it's outside, it's cold, it's uncomfortable. But once again, welcome to Equality Ladies. Her apology, she got fired. You know, luckily nothing physical happened. So I think just her being tried out in the court of public opinion is enough. Make sure to let me know what you think about this. What do you think of her apology? Do you think the same thing would have happened if, if it was a man delivering that day? Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.